Okay, it's Saturday morning. It's like a little after 10. I intended to start this vlog so much earlier this morning. We got off on like 10 different side roads. That's kind of always what happens to us on Saturday mornings, unless we have like a very clear, specific, very early plan. But we're getting started now and I wanna finish up a little craft project that I started yesterday. It's a Halloween project. Probably when this vlog comes out, Halloween will be over, but in my world right now, Halloween is in a few days. So I'm making a candy box. I got started yesterday and I vlogged it a little bit. So I'll show you the clips now so you can see how I did what I did. <laughs> it's not anything crazy. what we've got so far this is going to be my halloween candy box we're going to be trick-or-treating and hanging out at my sister's and her neighborhood with my whole family for halloween so we're not going to be here to hand out candy for most of the night we'll catch some trick-or-treaters which i'm happy about that but i don't want to be like a dud house like when you're a kid did you like call out the dud houses as you're going down streets like dud 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 calling everybody out like I don't want to be a dud house. I want to have candy. I did the same thing last year. I'll show you my candy box that I did last year. It's like a very last minute idea. I had never, I never knew it was a thing, but I did it and it worked. And this year I put a little bit more thought into it, like this much more thought into it. And this is the hair. These are the bangs. <laughs> Can you tell this is hair? I'm going to put a little sign on top. Please take one to be fair or two if you dare. And we've got a spider and I'm going to cover the front in Google googly eyes. I felt like my little stock of googly eyes wasn't going to cut it and I wanted bigger ones. So I went to Michael's last night and I got some bigger ones and then I found this like full on tackle box of googly eyes and I'm going to use these two and I'm just going to like cover the front and this is the tongue. But okay, let's glue some eyeballs. I got another idea. What? I just lost a ring into the candy box. <gasps> what are we gonna do, Luna? No, 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 no. Oh no! We have a disaster. it well I, no it's not that loose i feel like it's missing something but isn't that the fun part of crafting it's just you continue adding on to it forever and ever and ever we decided we needed to do a last minute target trip gang's all here hey hey, hey. we're in the men's section we don't know what we're doing we have a trip coming up i'll tell you more about that later i'm convinced grant needs some clothes yeah. grant has like three things Perfect. Villains. Perfect. Um, We're going to a birthday party tonight. Wrap this up while you're at it. I want you to get Pizza Planet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, real question slash big question. <laughs> Should I, I need to cut my hair, right? This is just a little ridiculous. I don't know, I just feel like when it's straight, it seems like a lot, you know? I washed my hair yesterday morning and decided to just leave it straight because tonight we're all gonna be dressed up like hippies. There's gonna be a birthday party for my dad and my little sister, Kristen, because their birthdays are really close together. My dad is turning 70 so it's a big one and we decided to make it a little extra fun and all dress up in hippie costumes because my dad was definitely a hippie back in the day like back when my parents met my dad had like super long hair <laughs> my mom got him a wig we're gonna see if he'll go for that and there's this one specific picture i even think i've shared it on instagram before but it's just really cute picture of my parents my dad has super long brown straight hair and this green striped shirt and 
I found like a look-alike kind of dupe t-shirt that looks really similar. My mom ordered it, so we'll see if we can kind of recreate that magic, and I'm really, really looking forward to tonight, and I felt like straight hair was the hippie vibe, you know? And then tomorrow afternoon, we have more costumes. <laughs> I actually have a lot of costumes to show you guys. Uh, this Halloween party that's happening tomorrow is kind of connected to this mom group and they've been having functions like all year and I haven't been able to go to any of them and it's been so sad because I want to get more involved. So I'm just really excited that I actually get to come to one of the events. It's always like we're out of town or we have appointments or whatever. So finally making that happen. Lucy and Grant are having a little quality time. Grant has been working late like every single night this week, so I'm really glad that they get to have some play time together, and I wanted to come in here and talk to you guys. So since the last vlog, the last vlogs were in Austin during our Napa intensive. We obviously wrapped that up after three weeks, and we were exhausted and we had multiple appointments every single day that next week. I had one really good appointment. Well, it was Lucy's appointment with her developmental pediatrician. I really feel like I had like a big mom win, which was really, really awesome. So the other huge, huge, amazing thing that's happened in the last couple of weeks, last week, we finally had our big meeting with the FDA. I talked to you guys about this whenever I was preparing our statement that we were gonna make a video for. For the presentation so basically it was for the whole scxbp1 community a bunch of parents pre-prepared videos that were played during the meeting there were also panels of parents that spoke about their experience like how sdxbp1 affects their child how this disorder has impacted their family as a whole their life as a family and it was awesome. It was awesome, but it was also a very hard day. It went from nine to two. It was really long. Grant actually took off work for that day and we watched it all day long and we got to hear so many stories from so many parents, people that we haven't even met. It was emotional and it was honestly a little bit draining, but it was so encouraging because this is a huge step and so many people that need to get in front of the FDA and talk about the patient experience and talk about their rare disease, they don't get that opportunity. And we got that opportunity. The STXBP1 Foundation, they've been working and working and working. We finally got it. And I think this information is really gonna help put us on the map, move us forward with doctors, with insurance, with FDA, with the clinical trials, with the pharma companies, like, we're, it's it's just a good thing. It was a hard day, but it's a good thing. And I'm just really proud of the whole community because I mean, they're really hard stories to share. It's, it's hard things and you, and in this moment, like it is good to share the really hard details because no one knows it but us. No one lives these lives but us. And so how would they know how much of an impact it makes on our kids' lives or our lives, unless we really get into the nitty gritty, you know? So a lot of people were very, very, very vulnerable and it was emotional, but it was meaningful. At the end of the day, it's an important thing and I'm so happy we got to do it. And I'm just so excited to see the good that comes from it. I definitely feel like I have more updates for you right now, but I really need to get busy wrapping some birthday presents. I don't know why I always leave it to the last second, but first I wanna thank the sponsor of this portion of the vlog, BetterHelp. I've used BetterHelp for therapy and it's been an awesome option for me because I can actually fit it into my busy, sometimes unpredictable schedule. And it's the only way I could do therapy like during nap time, like I don't have to drive somewhere and bring Lucy and fit myself into their schedule. If I can fit therapy into a nap time at home, it's just like gold, you know? BetterHelp's overall mission is to make therapy more accessible and more affordable for everyone, which is awesome. They make it so, so easy. Everything's online. You just go onto their site, answer a couple of questions. They match you with a professional therapist. And once you get started with them, if it's not a perfect fit, you can very easily switch to a different therapist, no additional costs or anything like that. It's just so easy. And finding the right fit is such an important piece of the process. Like 
one of the most important pieces in my opinion. And since everything is remote with BetterHelp, you're not limited to just the therapists that are right around you with availability, taking new people, like all of that, that can be such a hassle to like research people and then try to get on the schedule and like make it work in your schedule. Like it's just a lot, it's a hassle. And sometimes we just don't need the extra stress, obviously. So if you've been thinking about starting therapy, definitely consider BetterHelp. You can go to the link in my description. It's betterhelp.com slash Leanne says, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P. And you can actually get a 10% off your first month of therapy with a licensed professional. Okay, time to get busy on those presents. That's the top. How about one finger? Milk. Yes, ma'am. Good finger. Okay, I probably shouldn't have made it like a whole announcement that I was going to wrap gifts because I'm literally just using bags. Honestly, I'm using reused bags. So nothing crazy. I think one day one of my life goals is to become one of those like amazing gift givers that makes like a whole experience of the wrapping. Like I do think it's a waste of life to do that, but like have some little accessory on the outside and like color coordination and someday, maybe, probably not, but maybe. for tonight i've got my dress on i'll show you in just a minute and as usual i have less time than i thought i would to like freshen up and get ready for this and i was like kind of thinking about doing like a 60s makeup 70s makeup look i don't think i really have time to like do anything too ambitious but i'm gonna at least like touch up i really want to do eyelashes and you know what i tried these and I just pulled them out of my drawer again. I get so frustrated. I just threw the whole ripped up package in there. These Impress Press on Falsies that like already have the glue. These do not work for me. I don't, should I try again? Maybe. Maybe I should. Ooh, you know what I want to show y'all so bad. Okay, it has nothing to do with the costume, but I have been in love with this. So you guys know I like to use a stain as my liner lately because it just stays on so much longer and you can overline just a little bit and it looks more natural in my opinion. This stain, it's crazy. You have to trust the process. Let me show you. Obviously looks insane, but this is a peel off stain. I just put it on the outside I really did a bad job today. <laughs> I was trying to hurry. Oh, you kind of can't hurry with this stuff. I will link it down below. I got the color nude, but I actually just ordered another color, the like more pinky nude color. You have to wait for it to dry and then you peel it off. I'll show you. Okay, I think they're dry and it really does not take that long. Really, I just like go like that and it starts to peel off by itself. <laughs> It's really satisfying. <laughs> oh. Does that not look so natural? Like no other lip liner could look this natural. I love it. I love it. Whoa, bottom mascara is hard if you haven't done it in years. <laughs> okay, we're totally late, but I wanted to show up our costumes. This headband is already driving me nuts. Let me show you these bell bottoms. Whoa, here we go. <gasps> bell bottom, baby. Oh, and I have like a little top. I'll show you when we get there. We need to go. Okay, I got my little top on. I almost forgot it. I'm glad I didn't. I'll show you in a minute. I have a small correction. So I did try the little press on lashes that are like pre-glued and somehow I got it to work. I don't know what I was doing wrong last time, but it was super easy this time. And I just did like two on each side. I don't know. I just feel like if you're doing a costume, you gotta do a little lashes, you know? Far out, mom. Did y'all say far out? 
I did. He did you say me. groovy? <laughs> did you say any of those words? No, that's too It just wasn't me, you know. He might have said far out a few times. Uh-oh. Can you dig it, maybe? Uh-oh. Yeah, no. Do you I've remember never, that, Don? I've never been cool. <laughs> never been cool. Do you see Sam Bam? Sam Bam? Sam Bam! but it feels like midnight. We had such a good time. I feel like all of the family birthdays going forward should be costume parties because we all had such a good time with it. And I got some really fun family, like whole family photos, which is so hard to make happen for us. And honestly, I don't think we've even given like a true good attempt with like literally everybody in a million years. It was a really special birthday for my sister and my dad and everyone just had a blast and it was so fun getting to see everybody and have barbecue and of course the food was delicious and see the babies. The babies are growing so much and you can really see their personalities coming out so much more and it's just so fun. You just want to squeeze them. <laughs> but right now I really want to take this off and I have the feeling I'm gonna have indentations. Cause it doesn't feel tight, but like by the end. What? This looks crazy. Like I could feel it by the end of the night, but like, <laughs> oh, what have I done? Was it worth it? Oh my goodness, it does hurt a little bit. <gasps> Do I have a really big head? It's cause it's got chains on it. Why did I not think this through? <laughs> it was really cute though. Maybe don't get that one unless you don't have a monster head like me. All right, it is just, it is time. Oh, these earrings also. <sighs> oh, I don't think they're even really hippie, but they were just flowers and I never wear them. So I thought it was the perfect time. My ears are so sensitive. Anyway, I gotta go to bed. We've got a big fun day tomorrow. So I'll see you in the morning. Okay, it's Sunday morning. I got my little Halloween themed church outfit on. I love this dress. I will show you like, the full outfit later because I'm also wearing new shoes that I'm obsessed with. I'm also wearing a hat. Like I just feel like overall the past couple of weeks, it's like I'm getting my spark back in a way. And I don't even know fully how to describe it because really like 
it's a day by day thing. Like sometimes I just truly feel like my brain is not working the way it should. And some days I'm like, okay, things are coming. I'm getting more ideas. And like only now that I'm feeling like this, do I look back and think like, whoa, I was like truly, truly in survival mode. And the weirdest way that I'm noticing it right now, which I think because it's so like tangible, I'm really, really noticing it is like, I'm getting a little bit more interested in like, putting on different accessories and like last night I was looking at all my earrings because I was trying to figure out like my hippie costume and I like noticed these and I'm like I really want to wear those those are a lot those are not like utilitarian and like I've just been like doing the same jewelry over and over again which I really love because I just fall in love with jewelry and want to wear it every single day but for me it's just been like being tunnel vision like do everything as fast as possible like take care of yourself and just like go 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 like feel good about yourself but like do the least basically and like I pulled out a headband today and I haven't worn this but I've had it for a while it's like a little velvet bow it's so cute but like today I actually like wanted to go through the trouble put on a dress put on my new shoes like I bought new shoes like that in itself is very different for because for like the past two three years actually I've worn like the same two pairs of shoes on repeat like my Birkenstock sandals, the white ones mostly, and then the black ones, and then like sneakers for when I absolutely have to wear them. So I don't know, it, that might seem like a very shallow thing, but the fact that I'm actually like taking an interest in different things and like honestly, like when I go shopping for the longest time, like I wouldn't go shopping hardly, but I go and I look at stuff and I'd be like, I like that, but like it's not worth the trouble basically. Like where am I gonna wear that? why am I gonna wear that? You know what I mean? Like it wasn't worth it to me. I don't know. It's it's hard to describe, but I just feel really happy that I'm getting like a little bit of that spark back to like, I don't know, just be interested. It's exciting and it's fun and I bought new shoes and I like, I gotta show you right now. Look at them. <laughs> My tan went crazy. Have you noticed? Maybe you can't see it. My tan went crazy this week. I'm just feeling good and I'm feeling happy and like even just like wanting to try these eyelashes like it's exciting I feel like I'm getting my spark back I'm really encouraged by it and maybe it's temporary hopefully it's not but I don't care if it's shallow or vain or whatever it's fun and it's exciting and that's just how I always work like I don't realize something until I'm out of it and I can look back once things have changed I don't know why that's how my awareness works but I just feel a change, you know? It's cool, it's fun, I'm liking it. Need some tweezers. Okay, I think the problem with these lashes, why they weren't working for me, is I was trying to use the little lash picker that came with them, it was not working. So I just used like regular, regular old tweezers. It's so, I think I'm obsessed with, what, why am I putting on lashes for church? Why, why, why? Cause they're so easy and they're so cute and I felt so cute yesterday. And I'm trying to reuse these. I don't know if that's gonna work. Oh, totally sticking. Hey, I love these. New obsession that everyone has already discovered for sure. I am addicted to these. They're just so easy and they're so cute. I feel like my compromise is just doing one on each side. I'll link this headband down below because I feel like you need it. I feel like we all need this cute little headband. It's not like one of those super chunky ones, which I do like the chunky ones and I just got one. I'll show you later. I need to do like a Target haul. We didn't really get that many exciting things, but I'll show you. Okay, we gotta go. <gasps> she looks so beautiful today. Yeah. Miss Candy Corn Princess. Yeah. Back from church, back from brunch, and I want to do a quick little OOTD. I love this dress so much. It's actually from Amazon. I love the little neckline, the detail on the sleeves. It's the perfect length for me, which is saying a lot. I still wear little shorts underneath just for comfort with picking Lucy up and all of that, but it's just so cute and it's perfect for the weather right now. These shoes. 
that's what I want to talk about the most. I am in love with these shoes. They're obviously not the designer ones. They're actually not even the Sam Edelman ones that I keep seeing. They're actually like half the price of the Sam Edelman ones, I think. And they're totally cute, comfortable. I want to wear them every single day. There was like one little tiny spot on the heel that was rubbing. And I just put a little like black electrical tape on the inside and it fixed it completely. They're comfortable. They are so cute. Like in my opinion, these go with everything. Don't question it. I will link this necklace because I've been getting so many questions about it because I've been wearing it like nonstop lately and it's new and it's a favorite. Also, are you seeing Grant moved the treadmill in here? I do not love it, but we had to do it. I, I kind of want to make this my costume tonight. I don't know. I have not decided about the costume situation for tonight, but Lucy just went down for a nap, so I gotta decide. Okay, okay, okay. Quick trip out to Trader Joe's. It's out of the way for me, which I hate, but I got a new cookbook and I'm not doing my whole big ingredient prep thing this week. <laughs> we have travel coming up. It's not this week, but in my mind, I'm like, I can't do all that cooking. We can't have all these ingredients. We can't have all these leftovers. Like, we could. It would be fine, but whatever. It's an opportunity to try something different. I got this cookbook recently. I've done three recipes out of it. It's the Trader Joe's Five Items or Less Cookbook. I don't think this is like a healthy approach. It's just kind of an efficient approach. I don't even know if it's efficient. It's just recipes with very few ingredients and you can get everything from Trader Joe's. And a lot of this stuff is like pre-packaged. Like, okay, the one that I want to do this week, I'm just gonna do one and then I'm gonna do another like big casserole, which will feed me for lunch throughout the week and do a couple dinners as well. Now I'm seeing different stuff I wanna do. Okay, I'm doing this spinach artichoke chicken. I found this cookbook, I think it was an Instagram ad. I think it was purely an Instagram ad and I did not think twice, I just ordered it. I'm gonna be real with you, the quality of the photos, not perfect, but it's fun, it's something different. Let's go. Quick question, why, why? Why does it seem like there are people just loitering at Trader Joe's? It's already small. Why are there so many people with no basket just shuffling around? <laughs> That's the end of that. I had an idea. Obviously, we're back to this girl. I feel like there's not enough contrast with the eyes and I might mess this whole thing up, but isn't that the fun? For me, I'm not, I'm not a great crafter. I'm not a great DIYer. I don't have the best ideas or any skill but I do love the process of like adding on and adding on and adding on. The idea is to add a little color. I'm gonna use a red marker and just do circles around the eyes. Crafting. 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 Find me in my craft corner. Okay, what do you think? I think it adds. I think, I think this is, I think she's finished. Bangs are looking good, eyes are looking good, candy's coming out, what more could you want? In contrast, I got these flowers to sit next to the candy box because I look back at my pictures from last year and I had multiple pumpkins around, I had spider webs, I had spiders, I had all this stuff. How did I do that? And confession, this year we did not get a pumpkin. At no point did we go to a pumpkin patch but this is cute. And I like that I did white this year instead of black like last year because I think the kids like were like kind of looking around like, what are we doing when no one's coming to the door? And then they saw it, but like, maybe it's just, I don't know. I think the white will be eye catching. Okay, we're done. Okay, the time has come. I have to decide on which costume Lucy's gonna wear to this Halloween party. This here is her chicken costume. I made her costume and it is so cute. Look at the hat. Look at the feathers. It's just, honestly, it's a boa sewn around a onesie and it's so precious, but one small drawback, I don't feel like it's gonna be super durable and I really want her to wear it on actual Halloween. So I think we're gonna save this one. I'll put some photos in here of her on Halloween actually wearing this because I feel like it's gonna be the cutest thing in the world. And luckily we have a ridiculous collection of princess dresses that I just found at Walmart, y'all. I got a Cinderella dress from Gap whenever she was like baby baby like three months old and it looked so similar to this and it was like $40 like maybe more than that. 
These were 15. I could not resist and I was kind of in a hurry. So I was like, let's just get all of them. <laughs> Do I feel slightly ashamed with how many of these I got? Sure. But is Lucy going to look absolutely precious? It's undeniable. Okay. So which one should she be? Should she be Belle? Last weekend we went to the zoo and she wore Cinderella. So we've got a lot of costumes to choose from. This is like house of a thousand costumes. And I have such a hard time deciding. I think I'm leaning towards yellow. I feel like we might need to do Belle because then we can just do a gold crown. Okay, we're doing Belle. Okay, we're officially off, headed to the Halloween party. Oh my cat. Can you even tell because the car is really dark? Obviously a cat. I was a cat to the zoo also, but I wore like pants and a t-shirt, but I was so hot and I might potentially be hot again, but less in this outfit. I just love this dress. I wanted to keep wearing the dress. Grant decided to go no costume. He's wearing the Lucy's Light t-shirt, gotta represent. And Belle is in the back. Grant went no costume because he's gotta go straight to the airport from the party because he's flying out tonight and he's gonna be out of town for work. Don't you worry, I've got another costume for him for Halloween. He's definitely gonna wear it. so hard. <laughs> Did you steal it? Yeah. Hi! You're having fun. Oh, this is a little hot dog right here. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. It's a whole carriage ride. So we're back home. We both got a little something to eat. Lucy got an early bath. I changed. I probably need an early bath also. We had so much fun at the Halloween party. I got to meet another SDX mom that I've only met online so far. So it was really great to actually get to talk to her in person and have her meet Lucy. We also got to talk to another family that we connected with at Napa in Austin. So it was really great to see them again. And it was just so much fun getting to see all the kids in their costumes and Lucy was loving watching the kids. She also tried her first snow cone. She's kind of like into it, but not into it because I think it's just really cold and really shocking. And that was pretty cool, huh? Did you like the snow cone? It was really hot. We were so hot. We were all just like sweating immediately, especially Lucy, and I felt so bad. Um, but we really only stayed for like 45 minutes or an hour, but it was just so much fun. And it's actually supposed to get pretty cool, like by Houston standards, uh, on Halloween. So we won't be hot and sweaty on the real Halloween just today. I feel like this weekend has just been go, 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 go. I know Lucy's wiped out. I'm pretty tired. We're just gonna have a chill girls night tonight. Grant is gone, but we'll see him really soon. And I didn't get to tell you this news. I gotta tell you, I gotta show you something <laughs> to tell you this news. It's not necessarily big news for you guys, but it's big news for us. Lucy is going to Disney World for the first time. She's been to Disneyland. She went for her first birthday, but it's time. She's going to Disney World. I'm so, so, so excited. All the Christmas decorations are gonna be up. I'm just really, really looking forward to it. We booked it a long, long time ago, so we've just been like planning and thinking about it for so long. What's no, no, no? Is it because you're bored? Okay, that's better, huh? Anyway, we've been looking forward to this trip so much. I'm so excited to take Lucy. That's one of the reasons why we have so many princess dresses and I think the weather will be good. I'm just like looking forward to everything. We actually haven't been to Disney World in like five years. So it's gonna be really fun. I always had so much fun when I was a kid and I'm just really looking forward to bringing Lucy and I will vlog. I probably won't vlog the whole trip, I don't know. Probably I'll get going and be having fun vlogging. That's what always happens to me. It's like, I'm not gonna vlog that much. And then I get started and I'm having fun and it becomes a really, really long vlog. We'll see what happens. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again to the sponsor, BetterHelp. Definitely check out the link in the description. Get 10% off 
all of that, betterhelp.com slash Leanne says. We gotta wrap this up, don't we? <laughs> we gotta wrap it up. We gotta wrap it up. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. New vlogs coming up. I'm gonna do more extra vlogs at the end of the year because it'll be the holidays. It's, you guys know how I am with Christmas. I'm excited to vlog. I'm excited to be here more. So definitely subscribe, thumbs up the video, comment, all that business. Thanks. I love you. <laughs> Thanks. I love you. Bye. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, I almost forgot. <laughs> I almost forgot. I wanted to show you this absolutely ridiculous purchase I made for the trip. You guys know I've got to stay out of the sun. Guys, am I okay? I don't know anymore, but clearly I needed it. <laughs> okay, anyway, bye.